And hi again. Uh, gonna do a quick tutorial uh, on adding employees and adding users in Contractor Foreman. And so you're gonna wanna go to your main menu. You're gonna wanna select directory. Then select employees. We're just gonna jump over to an employee that's already filled out, but I've clicked employees, so now I have my list view of all my employees that all have entered. Create a new employee here. We have our filter button, so I can filter my employee list. Got a keyword search box. So to enter a new employee, we're just gonna hit create new employee. I'm gonna show you one that uh, is already filled out here. On the left side of the screen, you scroll down just a little bit and unlock that record with the green pencil icon. Now the record is unlocked. Required fields are red asterisk. So first and last name, email is not even a required field. So you can fill these out pretty quick, especially to get going. So phone, cell, title, wage. Um, fill this out basically self-explanatory fields. So you're gonna fill all this out. Now, if they're just an employee, only fill out the left side here. If they're going to be a user, you're gonna fill out the right side over here. And one of the first things to do then is select show on calendar. Once I check that, I can use this bar here. It's showing green. I've already selected the color for the calendar. So each employee, each user uh, is set up with a color on the calendar. You select from the color bar that pops up. You're going to hit app access to provide them access. Then you're going to assign them a username and a password. You can then email them their login details. A little farther down the screen, you can set the security role. Now, if you're new to Contractor Foreman, there's some pre-built security roles in the system to help you get going. So you can select from those, and that's from no access on up is what you'll have in your system. So select the security role. It will show you what has been selected. Now, you cannot modify that role from here. To modify that role, you do have to go into uh, company main, main menu, company settings, and roles. I'll touch base on that very briefly here in this tutorial. You can also assign projects. So this is on top of this security. You can click the box and say, okay, that person is only gonna have access to those jobs. So everything else is gonna disappear. They're only going to see information for those jobs. Down below, you can add different certificates. So training certificates, first aid, um, whatever it might be. We have a certified welder here showing. And then we have what I call jump to buttons. You can see what incidents that employee has been involved in, what projects they're on, any employee write-ups, safety meetings they've attended, and take a look at all of their time cards. You can also add an attachment. Maybe it's the backup documentation for the welding certification as we see here. So whatever you want, picture, PDF, Excel file, anything can be loaded up there. And you can also put a picture of the employee up here in this portion of the screen. So really it's, it's the same rinse and repeat. Um, and I'm gonna show you where you set up the security roles, but it's just really rinse and repeat. If you're gonna add contractors, click there going to add customers, click there. A customer is anybody that writes you the check. The vendor, that's basically materials only, not labor and materials. Miscellaneous contacts, those are uh, architects, engineers, inspectors, those kinds of things. And then you got your lead section for CRM tracking, sales activities, uh, etc. So that's it to add an employee. Very simple. Just create new employee fill out most, if not all of those fields, whatever you've got to get started. And if they're gonna be user, fill out this side of the screen. Remembering that you cannot modify the role. This is read only just to see what you've given them access to. I'm gonna save that record, hit the save button. 
And then to get over to your security roles, just real quick, it's company settings and roles off on the right side. And like I said, in your system, when you first sign up, you get everything I just highlighted in blue. To modify that role, click the green pencil icon next to it, make it inactive, select the circle with a line through it. So that's it on um, adding employees and actually other contacts. So uh, very quick, very easy to do. Um, get that going. That's one of your one of your first steps in getting to going on contract reforming. Anyway, thanks, and you can see more training videos over here under the training video section. Thanks. Have a great day.